Now we got to get out of the way of those things are they are gonna put the hurt on us. Oh lordy. Strafey strafe. Welcome back everybody to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy at gaming. And in this episode, we are going to take out my new fleet um, and give it uh, a test run against the Xenon and also attempt to blockade uh, the Xenon gate that comes into Hatikva's Choice. Uh, so, let's see here. I've got uh, three Nemesis Corvettes set up here um all of them are configured the same so i have um M. i have two plasma cannons on the side and three uh bolt casters uh in the front so they're all configured exactly the same um and then each one of those corvettes has a fighter squadron of 10 nodan Vanguard fighters. I went, uh, I decided to go with the Nodan fighters because they're relatively cheap, they're very fast, and I can get Talati shields fitted on them um, at the Allied uh, Wharf. Um, what I can't do yet at the Allied Wharf is I can't fit bolt casters on them because I need to get rep up with um, the, the Alliance of the Word. Uh, which we will work on at some point. So I still have to send them over to a, a different wharf to get the guns on them. Uh, but if we, you take a look here at our setup, I have Nemesis 1 in Alpha Strike Force. And then it has uh, these fighters protecting it. They're all on defense by default. Beta Strike Force, same, same thing here. And Delta Strike Force. And then in uh, the frigate, in the Cerberus, which I'm in, I ha also have a oh, fighter. I also have a fighter squadron of Node and Sentinels. And I went with the Sentinels for the Cerberus because the Sentinels are a little tougher, but also a little bit slower. Even, But they're still actually quite fast, too. Um, so, yeah. So we've definitely upped our game on our um, our fleet here and i also have in the frigate a bunch of laser towers uh, mark ii laser towers to be precise we have 47 uh, laser towers inside this frigate and i've also put um i filled this up with the repair drones and i took out the normal drones because i just don't like the behavior of the normal uh, or the defense drones uh, they're just too damn slow to get, to launch, too damn slow to, you know, redock, um, and I just don't like them. Um, so I, we had some conversation in the comments about that, and um, one suggestion that was made was to use laser towers instead, uh, and I liked that idea. So we're going to go ahead and give that a try with the Mark II laser towers. Uh, okay, and then uh, also I, I removed the plasma cannons from the frigate and I put a couple of um, tracking launchers and I have a light swarm missiles and heavy swarm missiles uh, or heavy smart missiles in there and I'm going to be controlling this ship okay um, so that's where we are before we get started though uh, with the combat um, a couple of things the there there was a, a xenon K that how somehow managed to get into Argon space and it completely wrecked the this Argon solar power plant. Um, so we could typically uh, or, or potentially I should say uh, use that to our advantage. We could set up a solar power plant here in Argon Prime and start being the um, supplier of power in this system since there isn't another uh, solar power plant. Now there, there might there might be solar power on some of these other factories but there isn't um is that guy just flying around M. oh yeah he's he's on the highway i think is he no i don't know anyway he's he's taking off um so that's something i'll be looking at doing 
is, is setting up a, a solar power plant here in Argon Prime and then you know maybe turning that into something even oh this guy is gonna turn around and wants to mix it up with us let's tell you to attack oh out. never mind okay so anyway all that to say that we will probably be putting up a solar power plant here in Argon Prime uh, very quickly uh, as far as finances go, I spent a lot of money on this fleet, so I'm down to 52.3 uh, million. I was, you know, I was up to I don't know, 80 million, something like that. So we spent a lot of money, but uh, I think you know this fleet's going to be fun and hopefully effective. And you know, when we're not trying to blockade the Xenon Gate, my plan is to put the the strike forces, um, you know, just put them on patrol, kind of in specific areas or or sectors to kind of help against the pirate threat. Speaking of which, um, it is my intention to take out this pirate base, and I can probably do that with this fleet. I know it's not the ideal fleet for, you know, um, taking out a base, but I think it's doable. I, I probably, I, I would definitely want to change out some of the guns and uh, for that purpose, but um, yeah, we're, we're going to look at that too. Okay, um, I think... I'm not sure exactly what we what's the last thing I showed you on on the, our station, but I do have a a large container storage. Uh, we have a graphene production and we have hull part production going on on the station. And uh, this is currently the station overview. I have assigned two miners per um, you know re, uh, product or refinery here, and they're keeping this nice and full for us. And so we have. You know, all of our production is pretty much going 24-7. And uh, I have set caps on, you know, what we need to keep here for production. And then everything in the green can be sold. We're not using silicon wafers for anything at the moment, nor are we using meat. So those can be sold straight up without any, any caps at this point. Okay, so we're doing pretty good on the station. And uh, overall, not doing too bad. Okay, so... What we're going to do is we're going to head on over to, there's a P coming down the highway there. Um, we're going to head on over to Hatikva's Choice, and this jump gate here goes into, or no, this jump gate here, Hatikva's Choice 1, yeah, uh, goes into this Xenon sector and so they are constantly pouring through this gate and those of you who are experienced with this game know this is a hot spot anyways uh, but they're constantly pouring through this gate and harassing ships you know going coming through this gate especially anybody that's trying to get up to a tick of his choice three um, because they have to get off the highway and get over to you know this accelerator to get over there and then they're just a constant pain in the butt. So our plan is, is that we're going to set up, we're going to fight our way to the jump gate, and then I'm going to set up a wall of laser towers in front of that gate, and hopefully that will help um, stem the tide of xenon coming through that gate. It's not a permanent solution. It's not like setting up a defense platform there, but I, I think um, I think it'll be effective at least for a period of time. Plus, it'll be fun, um, and that of course is important. All right, guys, so what we're going to do with the fleet is I'm going to take Alpha, Beta, and Delta, and I'm going to put them into a, a defend role. We're going to call it Zeta Join squad. to my ship, to my Cerberus. Hot. We will be scanning cargo hold. All right, and then um, so they are now... Um, in defense mode on Zeta, and we'll probably just keep them in defense mode for now. I'm going to also set Gamma, which is my fighter wing, uh, to defense as well. I have had them on interception, but I, I'm we might put them on interception later, but we're going to keep them in defense mode at the moment. And you know what? We don't actually need the Falcon in a separate group. So let's go back to here, and I'm just going to put, well, why don't we put all of our fighters in Alpha Group, actually. Join 
joining squad. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I don't have a reason at this point to have separate fighter wings. Um, they can all just be in the same group. Okay, so, excuse me. <laughs> they really want to get get protect in here, huh? All right, he's, sometimes they do that, they get in, in the way of your ship and then you can't maneuver. Okay, so, uh, we are going to head out here with our fleet into the war zone and see how things go. I will meet you guys when we get over there. Well, I'm just waiting for the rest of my fleet to get caught up here. And there are a bunch of Terrans in this sector. And it looks to me like they're actually attacking the Xenon. Um, this could be good and it could be bad. It's obviously good because they could, you know, they'll thin out the Xenon. Though I'm pretty sure our little strike force here, or our fleet, I should say, can handle what we're about to do, even without them. But, you know, less losses for us. But the thing that's kind of not good about this is that if we accidentally, you know, hit one of the Terran ships, um, then they will kick the crap out of us. And, and I don't want to, I don't want to make my rep worse with them than it already is anyways. So I think what we'll do is, I don't know why these guys are taking so long to get over here. Um, I think what we'll do is let's, let's advance, but we might hold back and just kind of watch what the Terrans do for a while. I'm, I'm, I would imagine they'll eventually clear out, so we might want to just wait until that happens, because otherwise, like I said, I'm a little uh, concerned that we might hit one of their ships. In fact, there's, there's a pretty high probability that if we just get into an all-out brawl that that would happen and uh, that wouldn't go good wouldn't go well for us in fact yeah they, they've got like huge capital ships here asgard they got an asgard Saka. some sokas um, that's a destroyer and asgard's a battleship asgard. so yeah <laughs> i think we better just kind of chillax for a bit and maybe just hold our position M and wait and see what they do. Uh, how close are we now? Yeah. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, we're gonna select um, Zeta Group here and we're gonna give them the hold position. You cannot change the default behavior of the ship you're currently flying. Uh, no, I want Zeta Group. Oh, do I have to do that? I guess I can't do that command on here. Requesting immediate backup. I think I can just tell them to follow me, and they'll still engage if we get attacked. In fact, they're already engaging right now, but hopefully they don't cause any problems with the Let's let's have them follow. Oh no, I can't do that. Okay, I'm still trying to figure all this fleet, all these fleet commands out. By the way, that wasn't obvious. All right, well let's do what I was originally planning. We're just gonna have to do it on each individual ship, um, unless I can. No, it's still just selecting one. All right, so what I want them to do. Um, is I want them to I still can't do it while they're in my group okay so we're gonna put them in the into their own groups so let's do a remove all assignments okay now alpha strike force can I select all of them nope still have to do it one at a time okay so I want to use protect position and they're just going to protect the position around me. Uh, yeah, right here, protect position. And 
we'll keep it maybe to 30 kilometer, a 30 kilometer radius, and confirm. You're in serious trouble. Actually, maybe let's make that even a little smaller, just because again, I don't want to accidentally mess with the Terrans. Okay, so we'll do the Beta Strike Force 2. Uh, protect position. We'll put them maybe over here. No. Okay, area to protect here. 20 kilometer area. Confirm. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing. Oh, did I just do that with Delta? I did. Okay. Requesting immediate backup. Protect position. Bring that down to 20 kilometers and confirm. Okay. So these guys will stay in this area. And they'll they'll fire upon, you know, any enemies enemies that come into this area, but they won't go beyond this area. Um, so this M's gonna come in here and just get wrecked. See you, sucker. See how they're targeting him there? Yeah, he's toast. So of course, the Terrans are going after them, too. So we, we just have to hope at this point that we don't accidentally hit the Terrans. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to kind of sit here and observe um, the f this fleet. And I might even up. I might even jump in one of the nodans and, and kind of fly a little closer over here just to try and scout it a little more. But I I, I need the Terrans to clear out of here before we proceed with our mission because otherwise we're just, it's just going to be too much of a risk that we would hit one of their ships. Um, so I will bring you guys back with an update as things progress. All right, guys, it looks like the Terrans uh, are maybe taken off here. Uh, well, I saw them start going down the highway, but then they got off again. So let's go ahead and start moving towards the gate. So we're going to have these guys uh, once again just follow me. Scoop has a different role. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put him back into Zeta, right? Joining squad. Okay, and let's start heading over there. And the idea is that when we get over there, I will once again put the uh, three squadrons on protect the area. And then while they're doing that and keeping the xenon busy, we'll be setting up our laser towers. At least that's the that's the plan. We'll see how well that actually goes. Let's do a little bit of a travel boost here. I don't want to get too far ahead of everybody though. But it looks like the Terrans did a did a number on these guys over here, which is good. Uh, there's still some fighting going on over by the gate too. I can see the see the weapons fire. No, they're still over there. Okay. Um. So I guess what we'll do is we'll stop here and again just kind of continue to reconnoiter until I feel like it's safe for us to. To go over there. P. Okay, so we're 
just on the other side of the highway now, but again, don't want to see this fleet's coming back, so I don't really want to do a full on engagement here with so many Terran around. <laughs> Our guys just like totally nailed him. Hopefully, they don't hit the Terrans. They like zeroed in on him. Boom. Nice. And then these Terrans over here are kicking the crap out of that P. So yeah, again, just gonna wait and observe and I'll bring you guys back again with another update here in a little while. Alright guys, it looks like maybe the Terrans are finally pulling out here. Been, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, maybe? Or maybe not. Nope, they're starting to head back again. Um. I would think at some point they'll, they're going to leave. I have noticed some Zyarth ships, uh coming in and out of that gate which suggests that perhaps the Zyarth um, you know you can get to their territory through here somehow not really sure um, I, I would probably risk taking the Peggy up there uh, just to look around because I, I should unless I run right into him the Xenon I should be able to keep him away from everything <clears throat> excuse me look at the mess or <laughs> so many wreck ships I'm keeping an eye out for the um, the thingy that is needed the third thing I need for the set of flux capacitor or something like that it's flux something. Flux coil. I got the other two pieces. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and if these guys just don't disappear, we might we might change things up a little bit here. But I'll bring you back in a little bit. I'm gonna grab uh, the Falcon Sentinel and tell him to go over here and collect drops. Um and let's just see how that goes. I knew there was a reason why I kept the Falcon in the fleet. <laughs> yeah, see, there's the Zyar uh, ship right there, a mineral ship going through the gate. Engaging. 
All right, guys, we have a K hey. that just came through the gate. Um, so we're going to watch the show here and see um, how the Terrans do with taking it down. I'm sure the Terrans will take it down. Um, I'm just curious how fast they'll do that and how many ships they lose in the process. So let's zoom in on the K itself. Yeah, it's it's definitely not going to survive. Um, I'm I'm just curious, like I said, how many Terran ships it will take out first. Don't think it'll hurt any of the destroyers or battleships, not significantly, but it could take out a lot of their fighters and uh, maybe their corvettes. Yeah, it's already lost its shields. Who's he shooting at up there? Probably the... Yeah, the battleship, maybe? Oh, no, he's shooting at a Corvette. Yeah, the big battleship's not even in the fight. That's way over there. And down she goes. Kablooey. Okay, I, I don't think the Terrans <laughs> suffered any significant losses from that. Um, they kicked the crap out of him. Alrighty, well, um, let's see here. Where are we at? Let's get back to our Waiting shooting orders. And take a look at the situation here. Well, they definitely have a lot more containers over here. So let's once again send the Falcon over there to, to collect. And he already has... We go to crew and look at the pilot's inventory. Uh, this is what they've picked up so far. We found something out here. So I don't see the flux capacitor coil thingamadoodle. What the hell is that called? <laughs> <laughs> it is a see we want to go to where's inventory where's set a a flux capacitor yeah so that's the other thing we 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 need um in order to do this uh, so this is a good opportunity you know for us to perhaps find one with all of this destruction going on And of course, we'll take all of this stuff back to our uh, the base and um, store it. So some of it's illegal, anyways. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like the Terrans are going to be going anywhere anytime soon. And uh, I've already been sitting here. For probably two hours in real life, um, semi AFK. I've been doing other things as well, um, and uh, they're just not leaving. So, I I guess what I could do. Ooh, they're bringing quite a few ships through now. I guess what I could do is set up some laser towers more over here at the gates, as opposed to at the jump gate, and that will at least these guys are going to just swarm this dude. That will at least um, provide some protection at wh where it actually matters. It's the worst part about this whole thing is the ships that get off the highway to go, you know, through this super highway or or vice versa, and that's when they're really getting nailed by these guys. So if we set up some laser towers in that vicinity, that will at least, you know, give some protection there. And then, you know, I can come back here later, um, you know, some other time when the Terrans are not here. Because I'm, I'm confident that, that my force here can handle what, you know, what's being thrown through the gate there. If, if a K came through, I mean, 
we'd probably lose some ships, but I think we could still probably handle it. And I just love how my fighters are the ones doing the swarming now. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Okay, well, I think we're going to do that then. Um, we're going to move back over in this vicinity, and we're going to set up some laser towers to help protect these uh, gates here. So let's start moving back in that direction. I didn't think the Terrans were going to stick around so long. But, you know, I mean, it hasn't, it hasn't been a bad thing. If nothing else, we have um, collected a whole lot of inventory wares. All right, guys, we are over here between the two um, accelerator thingamadoodles. So we're going to put a, uh, a few laser towers in between the two accelerators, and then we're also going to go back and put some along the... Uh, from this accelerator over, <coughs> excuse me, to the gate. Uh, but we want to put them at an angle uh, so that that way they can pivot and also shoot in that direction, which is what they will probably be doing most of the time. So let's get right about in, somewhere in the middle of these two gates. And I think, too, I'm going to do this in this view, just so I can kind of have a little more um, situational awareness, I guess. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up a little higher as well. Okay, that's probably pretty good. So, let's go ahead and launch our first satellite. Or, I'm sorry, not satellite, uh, laser tower. Oh, and I'm also going to kind of point this way a little bit, too. Not that that really matters, because they'll pivot any direction they need to. Okay, and we're going to go down. Until it just gets to the top of my screen, we're going to go over. about here and launch the next one so we'll kind of put them in a little zigzag pattern going down okay go down until it gets to the top of the screen over until we're more or less below the first one and launch the next one. And we'll uh, I'll just wash, rinse, repeat here, and then I'll bring you guys back once I have them set up in this spot. And then we'll go set up some more over at the other place. Well, darn it! I accidentally hit the laser tower mark two. Hit the um, whose one was a button? The travel button before this was launched. So let's deactivate that and then just pull it back into the hole and back up. Okay, are we right underneath that? Let's go back this way a little bit. I mean, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but it's kind of nice to get them reasonably lined up. We'll just bump the nose of that one. Okay. Now let's go down. The only one on the left is just right at the top of the screen. And then we'll launch this one. I'm going to say it's probably close enough. I wanted to put them up a little higher, you know, just so they're not 
in the li the shipping lanes themselves and have the ships run into them. But I guess we won't really know until an enemy comes by. Uh, but the next thing we're going to do now is that I'm going to... How many of these do I actually have out here? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's probably okay for that spot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start lining them up. Here, let's look at this from the, the upper view. So from this gate, kind of in a line towards the jump gate. And that's a good angle because then they can all pivot and shoot that direction, uh, which they will be doing probably more often than not because that's where the enemies are going to come from. But they're still kind of covering, hopefully, you know, the path because the ships usually get off right about here and then they start to, um, you know, come over that direction. Okay, so, yep, that's, uh, that's the plan here. So I'll get to working on that, and I'll bring you guys back with an update here in a little while. All right, guys, um, I'm over next to the gate now. Um, this is what we have set up so far. A few of my fighters mixing up with an M over there. Um, I'm a little concerned that I might have put them up too high. Awaiting orders. Um, but I, I didn't want to put them like all the way on the ecliptic plane because, you know, then they're going to be in the way of ships. But the reason I set it up this way is that the direct path from the jump gate over to these accelerators is right through here. So basically, and I've, and I've seen the Xenon do this a, a few times now. Uh, basically, what they're going to do is they're going to come right through my wall of lasers when they come this way and just get nailed. And then hopefully these lasers, I probably should have put those a little further down, will help protect ships over on this side. And then, you know, the ships getting off of the highway, which they get off usually right about here, and then start working their way over to here will hopefully be in range of those lasers. I don't know if they will be or not. Um, like I said, it's going to be kind of hard to determine that until we actually see them in action. Uh, in my ship, however, I am running low on lasers. So we have, or laser towers. So we have 12 left. So that isn't really going to be enough to put over by the gate that I had originally planned. So what I might end up doing is is restocking um, and then going back to the gate with more because, you know, 10 or 12 is not really going to be enough to be super effective. So I'm going to set a few more down here a little closer to the gate and then um, we'll probably go restock. Now there is a trading station here, but I don't think I can get those from a trading station, I think. I need to get them from an equipment dock or a wharf, but Argon Prime's just one jump over, so it won't take me that long to go over and restock those. So yeah, let's um let's just deploy the rest of the laser towers that we have a little closer to the gate here. And then once that's done, we'll go restock and then hit the Xenon gate. We are ready to start advancing on the gate here. Everybody's with me. Um, everybody's currently on follow. Actually, I want to put my fighter wing on defense. And let's start moving towards the gate and uh, laying down some laser towers. We have a few enemies up here we're going to have to deal with. Take a look at the map here. And it looks like the laser towers have already been working on these guys. Yep, look at that M just getting melted. These towers have taken some hits. So yeah, I'm not sure how effective putting these towers here are. I mean, they're obviously not going to last forever. 
But, you know, we'll see how they do. I think it's probably going to be more effective putting the towers near the gate so we're hitting stuff as it comes out. You're finished. Let's give him a, a missile. Of course, he's probably not going to survive long enough for the missile to get to him. Those smart missiles have a seven and a half kilometer range. Yeah, he's he's. I, that was a waste of missiles. <laughs> I should have done that, but oh well. The cool thing about the smart missiles, if you don't know, is if they miss their target, then they'll try and seek out another enemy. Alright, so what we're going to do orders. is we're going to tell our fighter wings to basically protect the area. So I'm going to remove them from my, uh, my direct command. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to here. I'm going to go to protect position and tell them to protect this area in, let's say, a 30 meter radius. Okay. Okay, so protect position. Uh, right about there is good. About 30 kilometer radius. Return. And then we'll do the same thing with Delta Strike Force. Protect position. Right about here is good. Awaiting orders. And confirm. Okay. So those guys will basically just keep this whole area clear of enemies while I um, start laying down laser towers. And what I want to do is I want to put the laser towers kind of up towards the top of the gate, but also out a ways. So I don't want to be right up against the gate. And the reason for that is, well, sometimes when the ships come out of this gate, they're like rocket out, you know, because they're like on the coming out on the highway. So if we put it too close to the gate, it's going to miss those ships. So let's move over kind of to here-ish. And I'm probably going to go into this view, too, so I have a little more situational awareness here. And we will try to maintain this, um, this yaw as much as we can uh, so they're, you know, relatively straight. Okay, let's start laying, laying down a blockade, a ceiling blockade of laser towers get all these up and then see them in action it's going to be pretty amazing fireworks man Get wrecked. <laughs> oh crap, we just had a K come through. Okay, um here. Pause the game. What we're gonna do is I wanna set all of these fighters to attack. Attack with commander in Alpha Group. Or here. Hold on. 
There we go. Okay, so those guys are all on attack. Now I want to put Alpha Strike Force and I want to tell them to attack the turrets. Data Strike Force likewise. And Delta. And I'm going to take half of my fighters. Let's just grab these half, uh, whoops. And I'm gonna give them a direct command to also attack the turrets. Okay. Now we gotta get out of the way of those things where they are gonna put the hurt on us. Oh, Lordy. Strafey strafe. firing on us. S. Contain container K. There we go. Okay. And yeah, if he, if he can like stay in range of our laser towers too, that would be fantastic. Oh shit, we just lost a nemesis already. Okay, well, let's just see what happens here. The idea is that they take the turrets out first, and then we target the shield generators, and then then we take it out all the way. It sucks that we already lost a nemesis that nemesis that quickly. Um, I've got heavy smart missiles too. I think I'm going to hang on to those for the moment until we uh, start at least start working on his shields. He's in a good spot, though, for our laser towers to come after him. We're taking hits. I know this is not the right fleet to be fighting a destroyer, but it's what we have, so... Let's just give it a try and see what happens. They are doing a number on him. It's fantastic that he's right in front of the laser towers. It's really helping a lot. They're just chewing away at him. He almost acts like he's stuck at the gate or something. He still has turrets, though. Okay, let's start um, throwing some missiles at him, too. I lost another fighter. still have turrets I think so yeah he still has one big turret there at least we're putting the hurt on him though
He got out of range of our laser towers, unfortunately. We must have taken out a shield generators. Uh, either that or we just are overwhelming the generators because they're not coming back online. Oh, there we go. Look at that damage from those towers. It's a beautiful thing. Take them down. We got this. Oh, he's down. Nice. Wow, I was not expecting that to happen. Woohoo! Cool, man. All right. So yeah, we t we just took out our first destroyer, and with a fleet that's not really designed for doing that either. Um, let's let's uh, see what the damage is. Uh, I'm gonna actually do a save. This would be a good time to do a save, I think. Um, and yeah, let's inspect our uh, damage. I know we lost at least one Corvette. Maybe with a little bit of luck we didn't lose both of them. Um, let's pause the game too. Uh, so we still have... Yeah, we lost two. Darn it. Okay, we still have Nemesis 3, but we lost Alpha and Beta Strike Corvette because there's now a fighter that took over the command position. Ah, that sucks, but you know, it's to be expected. I mean, that was um that was a big fight for us with not really the right fleet. <laughs> so, um I'm I'm kind of stoked that we did it though, you know. All right, well, let's see here. I'm going to let's put you guys back on or no, I don't need to do that. Let's put you back on defend. And I think I'm going to just dissolve. All right. What if we do it this way? There's so much to learn about all how all this works. It's not simple. All right. Well, it's not, it's not intuitive. Remove all assignments. Okay. That gets them out of that group. Remove all assignments. And remove all assignments. Okay, so let's take about two thirds of these fighters and assign them to Nemesis 3 with a defend. And then the rest of these fighters we will assign to us, but let's give them an intercept, which means they'll keep small ships away from us. Okay. Joining squad. And then Delta Strike Force will. Looks like they'll just go back to their default command of guarding the area, which is exactly what I want them to do. Um, let's just double check that that's what they're doing. Default behavior is protect position. What is this attack? Why is that on shield generator? I thought I told them to attack the turrets. Maybe I accidentally selected the shield generator and that's what actually happened. Anyway, let's remove that command and that command, and then they should just be back to their normal protect command. So yeah, that uh, that went amazingly well. I mean, all things considered anyways, even though we did lose two Corvettes. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep laying out the, the laser towers, but if another K comes through, I think we're probably just going to tuck tail and run because I don't really want to lose a third nemesis. Um, you know, we've already done way better than I was ex would have expected us to do under those circumstances anyway, so I'm pretty pretty happy even if we went home right now, but let's go ahead and lay down a few more laser towers. Anyway, um, so let's see here. Oh, the other thing is, too, let's tell the Falcon uh, to gather up 
some of this stuff over here. Blood drops. Okay. over to this laser tower here so yeah those laser towers actually helped us a lot um, that worked out quite well okay I'll keep laying these down and I'll bring you guys back with an update here in a little bit all right we got a K uh, that just popped in so I think it's time for us to vomitose um, I have um, gotten this many <laughs> turrets laid out or not turrets uh, laser towers and um, <clears throat> you know hopefully though that will help curb the tide at least for a while I know they're not gonna last forever but uh, I don't think we have the firepower to, to take on another um, K right now it's possible that we could do it but I'd rather not lose my last um, uh, Corvette here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to tell the Corvette to follow me in, we'll just dump him in, the, in a gamma group, and then all of his other dudes should come with him. And for my fighter wing, so beta groups default behavior is well they don't have a default behavior what I want to do is I want to change them to follow but all it's gonna let me do is add them to gamma group which is not what I wanted to do um, and I want you guys also to change to follow which also puts you in gamma group so I guess maybe it's putting them in gamma group because gamma groups already set to follow and I guess the end, you know, the end effect is it's the same. Everybody's now going to just be following me out of here, which is exactly what I want them to do. I don't want them to engage anymore. Okay, perhaps that's what it is. Okay, so Joining the squad. let's vamanos. It is time to GTFO, ladies and gentlemen. Let's boost on out of here. Let's take a look and see what's happening. So it's 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 like these guys are still trying to attack, and that's not what I want them to do. Follow commander in gamma. Yeah, get Join out of there. The squad. I think that's what we needed to do. It's time to go. We've worn out our welcome. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, guys, I I call this a success. I, I know we lost two I was awesome Corvettes, to Corvettes, which really hurts, but it's certainly not something that we can't recover from. Um, but it's just really cool to me anyways that we were actually able to kill our first K with these ships which really you know this is not the really the type of fleet especially for somebody like me who's who's still new to all of this to use for that purpose but we managed to do it anyways and we laid down a, um, a, a blockade of sorts of quite a few laser towers uh, which will not last forever but it, it'll help at least curb the tide a little bit and hopefully these laser towers that we set up over here will also help a little bit too i you know i think i probably set them a little too far back but you know it is what it is so um i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys here i think the tentative plan for the next episode is for us to uh go exploring so we're gonna hop in the peggy and we're just gonna go start opening up some more sectors and see if we can discover the new races from the DLC, the Split, uh, and the Terran in particular, and then go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.